The series begins in 1962. A young woman in her 20s called Nora, is living in a small village in Italy. One day in a swimming pool, a child comments on the shape of her tattoo, because it looks like a butterfly drawn on her back. But Nora doesn't care and doesn't even respond to him. After a while, Nora walks and makes fun of the people next to her, and convinces them that there is a mouse under them. She takes the opportunity when they are busy and steals the man's wallet, then walks away. Nora goes back to her home, and it is the same as her workplace. On top of that, the workplace is an amusement park. Nora works with her father and the rest of their family. On the way to her room, her grandmother Miranda sees her. She says that she agreed to let Nora keep her work in the amusement park, and reads tarot to people. After this, Nora becomes very happy. And this is because she inherited the talent of tarot reading from her grandmother and her mother. For a long time, Nora wanted to try, but her grandmother prevented her. Nora then goes to say hello to her father Antonio. Actually, Antonio is a simple man. He works hard and is self-reliant. On top of that, Antonio is the one who built most of the games in the amusement park. Nora finds out that her father designed a new camera. And there is no doubt that the advantage of the camera is that it takes pictures immediately. So, Nora admires the camera. And she thanks her father for all the efforts he makes in the amusement park to live happily. Then they remember Nora's mother, Stella. She passed away many years ago, and they are sad because of her death all these years. At night, the amusement park operates. And each one of them is responsible for running a specific game. Meanwhile, Four friends from very wealthy families, come to the amusement park. And because of the popularity of this amusement park, people come to it from everywhere in the city. The first one is Rosa, she is a young girl studying in the faculty of arts. The second one of them is Matteo, a senior journalist in a famous newspaper. He loves Rosa for a long time, and they want to get engaged soon. The third one is Giggy, he is Rosa's brother, and his dream to be a professional actor. And finally Simone, he is Matteo's brother, and has a camera all the time because he loves photography. The four friends play together, and they are happy. At the end of the day, Nora sees them from behind when they are walking before the allocated tent of the tarot reading. So, Nora offers them to read the tarot for them to know their future. But Matteo refuses, and thinks that this is just a fraud. Due to this, Matteo warns his friends, and they are all convinced by his words except for Rosa. Rosa thinks that she won't lose anything if she tries. So, Nora takes her and enters the tent. Rosa then asks Nora if her book will be published soon or not. But Nora reads the tarot, and advises her to focus more, and commit to writing, if she really wants to be a famous writer in the future. After that, Rosa hesitates for a while, and asks Nora if they will find her sister who was lost a long time ago, or if there is no hope. Nora becomes sad, and asks her to tell the story from the beginning. Rosa says, that she has a twin sister called Adele, but she got lost at the age of a year and a half, and says they are looking for her, but to no avail. Her father then hired a private investigator, but they don't even know whether she is alive or dead. Nora reads the tarot cards, and she knows that Adele is still alive. Also, she is very close to Rosa. Rosa says that Adele has a distinctive mark on her back, and this mark considers a birthmark that looks like a butterfly. And through the birthmark, it will be easy to find her. But until now, they don't know how to find her. While Nora is reading the tarot card, it cuts from Nora's hand. This makes her nervous, and she asks Rosa to go out of the tent. It is clear that Nora knows something, but she refuses to say it. After a short time, Rosa goes out of the tent and she is happy. She then informs her friends that Adele is still living. Suddenly, she discovers that her wallet was lost. Simone guesses that Nora is the one who stole it because he knows these people well. He then decides to go into the tent to get the wallet. Once he reaches the tent, he sees the tattoo on her back. He is very surprised because the concept of tattooing was not common at the time. Nora then fights with him because Simone entered without permission. She says that she used to travel a lot with her family to do shows around the world. And therefore, she did this tattoo in America when she was a child. She tells Simone that she didn't take the wallet or anything and promises him that if she finds it, she will return it to him. The next day at Rosa's house, she sees her father Tolio Gabrielli and her mother Lucia. Gabrielli's family is a very rich family, and due to this, 
people envy them for their position. Despite Rosa and Gigi's friendship with Simone and Matteo, their parents hate each other because they differ in their political opinions. Their father says that the second day will be his birthday, and he makes sure that his children will be with him at the time of the party. Gigi prepares himself and going to act in a small role in a movie for a famous actor. Because of Tolio's many relationships, he decides to help him and talk to the director, and tells her to take care of his son. Gigi arrives at the place where he meets the director, and Simone goes with him to support. They are surprised by the large number of people coming to apply for the same role, so Gigi feels frustrated. While they are standing in line, they get to know a beautiful young woman called Joya, and she is about to apply for another role. Suddenly, Famous actor Sandro passes before them. He is the champion of the movie, and is known for flirting with girls. As soon as he sees Joya standing, Sandro recognizes her and gets her number to meet soon. After what happened, Joya returns to them happy, then tells Gigi and Simone what happened, and tells them about the place at which they will meet. After that, the acting role of Gigi comes, but the surprise is that his acting is very bad, and the director decides to give him an opportunity to introduce programs. Additionally, the director says that they have a new program, and they need a presenter who hasn't appeared before. Although this isn't what Gigi wants, he agrees to appear on TV. Meanwhile, Rosa plays tennis with Matteo in the garden of her house, and she says that she believes Nora's words very much. Due to this, she makes a list of the girl's names who are close to her, to put them on her mind, until Rosa knows who is Adele among them. While they are talking, Gigi and Simone come back from outside, and inform them of what happened. Matteo invites Simone to attend the same party where the actor Sandro will be with Joya, and takes a picture of them. Then, Matteo says that his newspaper will pay a lot of money, in exchange for pictures like this. And Simone gets excited. Meanwhile, Nora is with her father Antonio and her grandmother, to arrange the games after the people walked away. And they are surprised by Atori. Atori is Antonio's brother, and returns from travel. Antonio is very happy because they haven't met each other for more than 10 years. After a while, Atori brings a gift for each one of them. Antonio's gift is the prototype of the journey game that he designed with his own hands a long time ago. Then, Antonio becomes sad because he didn't buy this game until now, because of their financial conditions. As for Nora's gift, it is a videotape of her with her mother, and they all watch the video excitedly. Nora notices that at this time she actually had a birthmark on her back that looks like a butterfly. After that, Nora wonders why her family made a tattoo on this birthmark, and why her parents get a tattoo for their daughter at this age. She then thinks that they intended to hide the birthmark so that no one would see it. The next day, Nora leaves her job and goes to ask her grandmother Miranda about the tattoo. But Miranda ignores the question and doesn't respond to her. It is clear that Nora gets the truth. And that is why she asks her grandmother for a picture of her mother Stella while she is pregnant with her. But Miranda says that the box of her memories is messy, and she will arrange it first to look for the picture. Then, Nora returns to her work, and one of the workers, whose name is Schleist, notices that she is lost. Nora refuses to tell him anything, but she thanks him for his interest. It seems that Schleist likes her, but Nora doesn't feel the same way. The next day, Nora visits Simone and Matteo to study, because her house is always full of annoying guests. She talks with Lando and Doriana, the father and mother of Simone and Matteo, and it is clear that her relationship with them is strong, and that she trusts their opinions. At this time, Antonio is talking about the amusement park. Actually, his brother Atori is excited that they are doing renovations. But Antonio is still waiting for the bank's approval of the loan. While they are talking, their two cousins, the Grita brothers, are coming to say hello to Atori. But it appears that Antonio and Miranda don't like them, because of their bad reputation. People say that they are criminals, and they work in suspicious works. Actually, Atori notices that the atmosphere is tense, and takes his cousins and they go from the home. After a while, Nora walks slowly to her grandmother's room, and while she is searching for her grandmother's tarot cards, she remembers her mother when she was teaching her to read the tarot. One day she told her that when the tarot card cuts, this means that there is a strong meaningful message inside it. Nora finds that her grand grandmother has kept the news of the disappearance of the daughter of the Gabrielli's family. She realizes that this girl is Rosa's sister, 
and wonders why her grandmother keeps this news with her. Suddenly, her grandmother enters, and Nora asks her who the Gabrielli's family are. After that, the grandmother gets nervous, then says that they wanted to buy a tiger from their circus a long time ago, and she refuses to say anything else. Meanwhile, Nora leaves the room. She is upset and decides to walk alone. Meanwhile, Gabrielli's family celebrates Tolio's birthday. In the middle of the party, Rosa and Matteo walk slowly to the garden. And there, Matteo confesses his love and presents her with an engagement ring. At the same time, Tolio talks to his friend Manila, who works in the secret service. And it is clear, that the two of them know that Adele died a long time ago. However, Tolio refuses to tell his wife the truth, and says that this is the only thing that makes her fine. If she knows that Adele had died, she will die. Nora walks all night until she reaches the city, specifically the house of the Gabrielli's family. After much hesitation, she decides to enter. When she sees the door locked, she jumps off the wall. Nora finds the three friends sleeping in the garden, and Rosa is reading a book next to them. Rosa gets excited when she sees Nora entering. Nora says that she finds the wallet, and comes to return it. At this time, Lucia comes to them, and says that breakfast is ready, so they take Nora with them and have breakfast together. During this time, Rosa lies to her mother, and says that Nora is her friend in the Faculty of Arts. After a while, Nora leaves them to go back to her house. But the mother is surprised at what happened, and tells Matteo that Nora was here for another reason. She guesses that Nora wanted to say something, but she can't. At this time, Tolio talks to his friend Manila that he wins the auction, that he entered against Matteo's family on a land plot. Therefore, he decides to invite them to dinner at his house, to show people that he wants to make peace with them. But the truth is that he is happy because he gets the land and nothing else. At this time, the four friends gather in the garden, and they are worried about their food at night, because their parents hate each other, and all the time they fight. By that time, Rosa gets an idea that they use the opportunity to gather the two families, and tells Matteo to ask her for marriage at the gathering. Although Matteo is afraid of this time, he agrees. At this time, Antonio notices the disappearance of his daughter, so Miranda says that they had a fight yesterday over a trivial thing, and guesses that Nora went for a walk and she will back. Later, Antonio knows that the bank refused to give them the loan, and because of what happened, he thinks of taking a Tory's advice and accepts financing from businessmen. But Miranda refuses, and says that a Tory only thinks of himself. She thinks of the difficult days they were sufferers from, and that a Tory left them and traveled. Antonio tries to defend his brother, and says that he was traveling for work. But Miranda can't forgive him. After a while, Nora returns to the amusement park and knows from Schleist that the bank refused financing, so she becomes sad for her father. At the same time, Atori hears Antonio informing the workers of the bank's decision, and he is surprised when Schleist's mother Tina, comes to say hello to Atori, after knowing that he returned from travel. On top of that, Tina tells Atori about the last time she saw him, which was the day her husband was killed in Paris, but says that Antonio and Stella didn't leave her, and took her to work with them in the amusement park. On the same day, it is time for the invitation. Lando and Doriana know that the Gabrielli's family invites them, especially to make fun of them, but they accept the invitation and come. In the middle of dinner, they talk about opera concerts, and Doriana makes fun of Lucia, because she sleeps at any party, no matter how loud it is. But suddenly, the entire Gabrielli's family becomes sad. Tolio then says, that since the disappearance of their daughter Adele, his wife suffers from insomnia, and the opera is the only place that comforts her and makes her sleep. Then, Doriana feels embarrassed and says sorry to Lucia. After that, Doriana makes fun of their singing, especially, when she sees Tolio using a remote control, to turn off the TV because he is lazy. At this time, the four friends sit, and it appears that they are waiting for the invitation to end, before the two families fight each other. Meanwhile, Nora sits with her father, and asks about herself when she was a child. Antonio says, at that time he and Atori was traveling to work. But the condition of the country was very difficult, because of the Second World War. And due to this, he couldn't take a vacation and he comes back. He didn't see her except when she had about a year and a half, 
when her mother brought her to America to greet him. Nora thanks him for all his sacrifices, and says that he is a great father. At this time, Itori sits at the ticket window, and suddenly a simple woman enters him. She asks that she buy tickets for the games in exchange for grapes she planted it. But he treats her cruelly and refuses. At the same time, Simone is in the amusement park. He sees this situation before him and sympathizes with the woman, then buys grapes from her and gives her a lot of money. Simone enters the tent and looks for Nora. He meets her grandmother, who appears to be worried about his relationship with Nora. A little later, Simone meets Nora in the ghost house. He goes to talk to her and asks her to go out with him the next day. This is because he is going to attend the same party that the actor Sandro will attend in order to take photos of him and sell the pictures to the newspaper. But he wants any girl to go with him so that no one doubts him. After that, Nora agrees. But in exchange for a percentage of the money, Simone then changes the subject and asks her about the tattoo on her back. Nora says that her mother made it when Nora was a child and asks him not to tell anyone about it. It becomes clear that are both thinking about the same thing and that Nora is the lost child. But neither of them expresses his doubts to the other. The next day, Tolio calls for the investigator who was assigned a long time ago to search for Adele, and brings him to see Lucia drawing of the shape that she imagines Adele to be like now. He then asks him to publish the new drawing in the newspapers once again, because it is possible that someone who knows her will appear. Although they know that Adele is already dead, the investigator performs Tolio's orders so he can get a salary every month. Tolio then tells him to come back after two weeks with the news that someone has seen Adele in South America. And this is because Lucia is hopeless during this period, so he wants to make her optimistic in any way. Meanwhile, Atori meets his two cousins. They say that they work with rich people, and these people can finance the amusement park in exchange for taking the land behind them. But the land belongs to Antonio. They want to work in illegal works, and need a safe place so that no one will see them. Ettore then gets excited about the money. On the same day, he talks to Antonio about the matter, and he takes advantage of the bank's refusal to put pressure on Antonio. But Ettore doesn't say why exactly they want the land. However, Antonio refuses, saying that he intends to apply for another loan. After a while, Antonio works in the store. He dreams that he designs the journey game, because Stella loved it, and she hopes to buy something like the game in their amusement park. Meanwhile, Miranda stays with him, and becomes sad whenever someone talks about her daughter. While they are talking, Nora enters them, and she is coming to take a curtain thrown over, to make a dress to go to the party. After a while, Simone and Nora go to the party. Nora stands in the middle of the hall, pretending that she takes a photo. And all this so, that Simone takes a photo of Sandro and Joya, without anyone seeing them. He then starts dancing with Nora to get close to them, and hear what they are saying. But suddenly Sandro takes Joya, and they walk from the place. Simone and Nora decide to go with them, so they can take more pictures. On the other hand, Sandro takes Joya to a quiet beach to take a rest. Although Simone doesn't see anything, he keeps taking pictures of them from afar. Suddenly, Simone and Nora hear loud screams, and they don't know where it comes from. And when they hear Sandro's voice laughing, they calm down and walk. But the truth is that Sandro cries, not laughs. And this is because he accidentally hit Joya's brain on a rock, and she died. He then sits beside her for hours, and doesn't know what to do. The next day, Rosa has an exam at the university, but her professor is a bossy person and deliberately fails her in the exam. Nora arrives at her university and she comes to comfort Rosa. Then, Rosa takes her to their house so that they can talk easily. She tells Nora about the day that Adele disappeared. Then says when the babysitter walked away from them for a while, Adele unbuckled her seatbelt and walked away. And from that moment, they don't know anything about her. Nora becomes sad, she then tells Rosa about her doubts and shows her the tattoo. She explains that she saw an old video of her with the birthmark. And she suspects that her family made this tattoo a long time ago, to hide the birthmark that looks like a butterfly. After that, Rosa is shocked and hugs her because she is happy. But they decide to make it secret from everyone, until they are sure. On their way out, they met Lucia, who is going out to buy something. She asks them to go with her 
and then they agree. But first, Rosa asks her mother to show Nora her drawings. Rosa intends to do this, to show Nora how upset they are because of her absence. Lucia says that after her daughter's disappearance, she decided to learn drawing so that she could draw an imaginary shape for her, and publish the drawing in the newspapers. In the meanwhile, Nora is upset all the way out, and looks at Lucia, wondering if she is really her mother or not. Meanwhile, Tolio calls Lando to invite him to dinner the next day, and says that he has a project idea that they want to talk about. But the truth is that Tolio wanted to put a listening device in Lando's house, because he finds out that they were spies for the Russians. He wants to trap them, and they agree on a date. As for Simone, when he works in his house, he notices that there is something strange in the ground, and guesses that something happened to Joya. Then, Simone wants to report, but Matteo prevents him. And this is because the pictures aren't clear, and he sees that these are hallucinations, nothing more. But in order to make his brother calm down, Matteo takes him to the newspaper where he works, and asks an employee from there if there is dead body found in that place. But the employee is very surprised and says if something like this had happened, he would have known. Actually, Simone wants to tell the editor what they found, but Matteo refuses. At this time, Sandro is terrified of his crime, and because of his mother's fear for him, she decides to do something by herself. She goes to the chief director of Sandro's current movie, and tells her what happened. The director calms her down, and tells her that she will solve the issue, and asks Sandro to focus only on his movie. She then calls her friend Manila, and tells him what happened. And because he works in the secret service, this issue is easy for him. Manila goes to the Gruta brothers and shows them the location of the body, and orders them to hide it as soon as possible. At this time, the three friends arrive at the house. They meet Nora and Rosa when they go out from there. Simone talks about what he saw, and he tells them his doubts. Then, they decide to go to the beach, and see if there is a body there or not. But as soon as they reach there, the Gruta brothers arrive before them and take the body. Then they call a Tori, who agreed with them to sell part of the land without Antonio's knowledge, and they decide to bury the body in their land without anyone knowing. On top of that, Atori himself doesn't know why they want the land, but he doesn't even care. After a while, Miranda stays with Atori. She asks him about the Gruta brothers, and what they want from him, but he tells her nothing. Miranda then reads the tarot, then warns him of what will happen in the future, saying that the Gruta brothers are criminals, and intend to harm him. However, Atori doesn't care and walks away. The next day, Simone on his way to meet the editor of the newspaper, to find out who killed Joya. But the boss isn't convinced, especially since the photo doesn't explain anything. Simone then suggests that they use the newspaper's darkroom, so they can enlarge the photos and see what it contains. But the boss laughs, and says that even if Sandro was a criminal, he has a lot of influence to protect him. And no matter what he does, no one will be able to imprison him. On top of that, he says if they are able to prove something at the time, they are the ones who will be harmed, not Sandro. After a while, Simone knows that Giggy has two tickets to the premiere of Sandro's movie. He then tells Giggy to give him a ticket, until he agrees and gives Simone a ticket from them. They prepare and go to the party. There, Simone follows Sandro, and sees him when he goes out the of party. Simone holds Giggy by his hands, and walk behind Sandro. Sandro goes to the floor above, and he keeps looking at the stage sadly. Then, he says to Simone while he is out of his mind, that he still can't forget the girl's look at him. Simone gets angry, and asks him who this girl is. But Sandro understands what he said, and he quickly changes the subject. He says that he means the audience's looks at him while he is on stage. Despite his justification, Simone becomes more suspicious of him, and decides to follow this matter, until he reaches the truth. At the same time, Tolio and his wife go to visit Lando's family at home. Tolio argues that he is going to the bathroom, and puts the listening device in Lando's office. Meanwhile, Atori sits in the amusement park alone after everyone is asleep. By chance, he sees the Gruta brothers, when they are taking the girl's body to bury her in the garden. Atori gets fears that he will put his family in a difficult situation, and maybe imprison them. At this time, Nora is awake in her bed, 
and her grandmother enters to check that she is fine. But Nora takes advantage of the opportunity. She threatens her grandmother that if she doesn't tell her everything that happened a long time ago, she will tell her doubts to Antonio, and tells him that she isn't his daughter. But because Miranda is afraid that Antonio won't absorb the shock, she is forced to tell Nora everything from the beginning. This is the first part of the series. Stay tuned for the final part. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you in the next video. Big dog status, I'm a big dog, bitch. I pull up on the block.